Okay, so Jamil has conquered getting on to the trailer and now he's obsessed with getting on but we still have the trouble of the butt bar and he still has to go for his drive which probably won't be until next fall because we've already put the trailer up but this is this gives him time to think about things and how um, he's accomplished a lot of things so far and he's getting past his fears and this is really important and he used to, when we first got him, he would go and just shake in the corner of the arena when things went wrong. So this is, this is a really big deal for Jamil. And right now we're just going to kind of play around with this. He's going to be hard to bring back out of this trailer. And right there, all we did was ask him to back and he came out and um, on his own. I mean, we didn't obviously do anything to get him to come out. And here he's just going to be like, nope, I'm going back in. And this is fine. This is great, actually. And we laughed our heads off through this whole process. And not only does that keep things light, but it is funny. And um, we're just kind of playing around with it and see what he's willing to give us. And see, there's Raz who's kind of nipping him on the butt a little bit. And and this is the horse's way of encouraging and playing and, and uh, just little love bites. And... Uh, it's very important that he gets these little blood bites and little encouragements and from everybody that everything is fine and everything is light and that's really important this is what I love about working with more than just one horse and doing this all at liberty is can be a little challenging if you have more than one horse so just be careful when you try to attempt to do this if you do know your horses it's very important but there he goes back into the trailer again and uh, he's really stuck in that trailer. This is his new buddy. <laughs> Not all horses like to run onto the trailer. This is Jamil's thing and we're running with it. He wants to run, we're going to allow him to run and we're going to have fun with it because he's having fun with it, not because we're making him to do it. Um, if we asked Rosie to run onto the trailer, you just might as well forget it. She will be mad. So she's willing to walk onto the trailer and anything else beyond that, just forget it. So do what's right for your horse and uh, listen to him. So we kind of pushed our luck here. Um, we were all too enthusiastic and pushing him onto that trailer. And he said, no, I'm not going to do it this time. And that's okay. We just called it a day.